All right, Virgo, I'm doing it a little bit differently for you right now because as I'm pulling these cards, I was doing it off camera, but as I'm pulling it in, the cards were flipping over and I was getting information already. So I'm going to I'm gonna talk to you while I'm getting the rest of the cards for the quarterly spread for you for 2022, okay? The Breaking Bad Habits card is right there. And also we have Doctor and Consolation. So Breaking Bad Habits, Self-Acceptance, Excellent Mental Health, and Letting Go of Vices. So there's something you're going to be, some kind of vice... Maybe it's alcohol, nicotine, sugar, caffeine, whatever it may be, um, that you're going to be letting go of in 2022, or maybe you're on the precipice of letting go of it now, but it's going to uh, significantly help something that's been going on with you, okay? You're going to go to the doctor, and they're going to be like, wow, this is a lot better now that you've stopped doing this and this and this. So there's something that's definitely going to help you out, Virgo. Um, some sort of vice, a small habit that needs to be broken in order to uh, <clears throat> heal and continue healing. It's going to make your situation a lot better. What else was I getting? Okay, the child card is here. So there could be, you know, Maybe you're going to be expecting those of you who are wishing for a child or to get pregnant, that will definitely be in the cards for you. Those of you who are able to get pregnant but are not wanting that, you know, there are precautionary measures that you can take to prevent that from happening. So you might want to be careful in the year of 2022 if that's not what you're going towards. But also there's like something about foster care or fostering a kid. A uh, grandbaby or adopting a child or maybe looking in. Maybe you're one of those who can't have children on your own. And you're wanting to look into adopting also. That will be in the cards with for you the following months. <clears throat> oh man, everything's falling over over here. Alright, I shall return. Alright Virgo, I'm back. Ha! Huh, I had that paused at 222. Two, two. Wow, that was crazy. I just noticed that. <clears throat> so, I do have it devel uh, divided up into quarterly sections here for 2022 for you. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. But also, if you were attracted to the key words in the title, that's fine as well. Right off the bat, also, I'm noticing there's a lot. There's the word nature, but we've got a lot of earth tones going on here as well. So, um... More cards than just four from this deck came out for you. So I'm going to show you those real quick. Rest. And then we have rejuvenation, right? Rest and relax. Release skill and make your needs a top priority. <clears throat> and also, actually, let me show you a card that was over here. Um, on the bottom of a deck, regret. I know that I cannot change the past. So releasing guilt and regret... That's interesting. So, I should have just kept it out. But also, you've got another angel message as well. When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt bath, or pedicure. And if you were here at the beginning, they were talking about seeing a doctor and letting go of vices. We're going to put this down here. Letting go of vices. <clears throat> better health. Better health for tw in 2022. Definitely coming your way, Virgo. But I'm just going to put these down here as a vantage point. Oh, I'm all halfed up on the caffeine. So we have Consolation and Doctor. That will focus for you. Okay, it is what it says, okay. Breaking bad habits, self-acceptance, excellent mental care, mental health, and letting go of vices. Can we let this focus, guys, please? There's a lot of energy in the room, and I figured out that's why my fucking camera doesn't want to want to focus half the time is because there's just so, you know, your spirit teams are like, yes, 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 let's give them messages. All right, and then we have trust. 
trust your decisions march to the beat of your own heart so you are four five six on the timer you are following the inner guidance of your heart and you're leading from the heart you're getting out of the monkey mind and the mental <clears throat> neighborhood because it's a bad neighborhood right especially when we ingest caffeine and that tends to um fuel anxiety or stress so maybe that's a bad habit you're gonna break is releasing the caffeine or coffee or that morning coffee and replacing it with a different form of morning ritual maybe yoga stretching walking uh, maybe you've already been doing this also so um, these are I just divided it up in sections to kind of get an idea but m the majority of it for the other signs it's all tied in together and say this section right here could maybe happen here and vice versa you know or it could all happen in a certain quarterly spot I mean, it's just different for everybody, okay? These are guidelines, necessarily. We have happiness as well. So, trusting yourself, trusting that inner knowing, and letting go of those vices with happiness, rest, rejuvenation. Look, we've got the rejuvenation card here as well. We, Yes, happiness and cheerfulness. And constancy. So, this is telling me that it's going to be able for you no matter who is grumpy around you or what is thrown your way and I don't think you're going to be dealing with a lot of unhappy people because when we're in these vibrations of happiness and joy we attract people who are also in those vibrations as well right maybe that's a bad habit you're breaking is harping on things that happened in the past and releasing it and instead of being like oh well this shit happened to me last time i wonder what the fuck's gonna go on this time what bullshit am i gonna deal with this time but you're releasing that mentality i feel virgo and you're going to be receiving people who are more in your vibration love charm attracting a lover soulmate or life partner oh my gosh basically i was just talking about attracting people right um soulmate or life partner and for some of you the soulmates those could be best friends coming in new friends okay soulmates are not romantically involved all the time soulmates are everybody in our lives everybody that comes and goes those are soulmates rejuvenation of course there could be a vacation being planned or um wanting to plan a vacation to the ocean get a good night's sleep rejuvenate your mind body and spirit and I think what you're going to be doing is you're going to be realizing what it means for you personally to rejuvenate mind, body, and spirit. The truth, your inner truth, and a lot of self-reflection. Speaking your truth as well is what's coming to mind. And I'm just going to have to put this one right here. Better health definitely for you, Virgo. Mm. And, okay, we have child and journey. And like I said at the beginning of the video, well, hell, I don't remember what I said, what it was about, but I know they're like, the message came through already. Generates luxurious experiences and surroundings, having little luxuries. And also, <laughs> with the child card here, maybe, you know, maybe you are an uh, adamant about becoming a grandparent. And so that is probably going to happen for you or even a parent. But also, it's telling me that on your journey, your life journey, in this lifetime, you were and are destined to really benefit and relish in little luxuries. And it, that's whatever it means to you. Getting a mani -pedi, uh, taking a sea salt bath, getting... A massage or going to a spa and sitting in a sauna. Getting a lot more grounded. You're also going to be learning what this means for you and what it takes for you. There have been several options mentioned on how to do the root chakra and yada yada. But also I'm noticing like the little fishing boat here. So a lot of uh, fishing trips maybe this year. Take a walk. Let the beauty of nature feed your soul. Oh, answers so we've got truth and answers here a lot of answers are going to be given to you 
via your ancestors is what I'm getting here. <clears throat> like revelations and aha moments. And I feel like this is either already happening to you or it's going to be more at the beginning of 2022. Because right now when I'm recording this, it's just right around the corner. December 28th, 2021. 10, 10 on the timer as I look over. But also I will have to say, you know, these messages are usually timeless. So despite what time you're seeing this, 2022 or 2023 or whenever, if it resonates, then it's still valid for you, okay? We have love and gift. So over here we have attract a lover, soulmate, or life partner, right? For those of you who are single, you definitely, that divine counterpart is definitely making their way to you. Right now, though, it hasn't happened because you are going through this self-acceptance and self-care and self-love. You are learning to love yourself. You're finding out your true, authentic self and who you are because previous toxic relationships have conditioned you to a point where you just don't even know who you are anymore and you have a lot of negative thinking patterns towards yourself. Um, it doesn't even have to be toxic relationships. Romantically, these could stem from previous, like, how your parents conditioned you and, you know, uh, bosses, schoolmates, teachers. Protection from harm when journeying. And we've got the journey card here, too. And I mentioned something about wanting to go see the ocean or planning a trip. Lots of travel in your future, Virgo. Abracadabra with wings. Fantastic good fortune and lucky chances. So a lot of luck and good fortune coming for you in 2022. And look, we've got listening. And here we have this lady here with the mirror also. Let's see what it says. Listen to your wise self. Let your inner compass direct the course of your life. And your wise self, I'm going to let you know now, but so you be prepared. Your wise self is going to want to take risks. Your wise self, your higher self, is going to want to jump off the edge of that cliff. Your wise self wants to take those leaps of faith, okay, into new beginnings. They're going to want to go through the path, onto the path less traveled. And you're probably going to go on with this because you know it's going to be time for a change, time to find that inner happiness and that inner truth. revelations and look she's looking like she's self-caring and rejuvenating next to the ocean Maine I don't know if that's said in Maine but the Maine came to mind okay listen to your life the right path will reveal itself so oh yeah a life path figuring out what your life purpose is and what you want to do with your life Let's see, I'm pulling a life purpose card. Justice, your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. So, also if you're going through any legal matters, the scales of justice will tip in your favor. But I don't think this card's ever come out before. But I'm feeling Libra energy here as well. Um, where's my stone? Here it is. <clears throat> So I put this over the truth card and I feel like you are going to be bringing truth to those who may not be able to speak their truth, who aren't able to. Incarcerated individuals come to mind. Uh, lawyer, maybe you've been wanting to look into being uh, a lawyer or studying to be a lawyer. Curious about the bar exam and what that entails. The sky is the limit is what I'm being told to tell you, though. The sky is the limit. It's not too late, regardless of your age right now. You have plenty of time. It's just the beginning, okay? All right.
right, so four of these surrender cards came out earlier, so we're going to read those and put them over. Surrender to the natural, the beauty of the natural world. And we've got nature, a lot of signs pointing towards nature, right? Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and ecstasy there. So I don't know if you, you guys might be like, me and my family here since 2020 and the pandemic hit, we've been very drawn to be outdoors, going hiking, going to parks, nature trails, and whatnot. So, um, your soul is calling you to be out in this because one, it helps center and ground you, but two, it rejuvenates you um, on a soul level. And also, you know, the good fresh air is good for your inner, inner workings as well. <clears throat> Surrendering defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear non-defensive response. I don't remember what I said. I feel like I said earlier about handling people differently or... Anyways, it ties in somewhere, right? Surrendering to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. So, going with the flow, surrendering, letting go, surrender to trust. Didn't we have trust card here? We've got trust twice, Virgo. Trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. So maybe also having a sense of like keeping some things from certain family members or some things to yourself and not really diverging a lot of news because you know that they would have a strong opinion about it and try to sway you from it or make you feel doubtful of yourself. So just just keeping some stuff to yourself until it's ready to be revealed or you're knee deep in it and it's, you know, kind of hard to hide it. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. 1717 17 on the timer as I look over. But also, we've got surrender defensiveness. Stay centered and hear someone out, then offer a clear non-defensive response. I, mm, oh, okay. So there might be somebody whom you deal with that is always on the defense. Like my daughter, Sadie, she's always on the defense about stuff. And it's hard. It's like we clash and our walls like hit each other. And it's really hard to communicate with her, I find sometimes. So whomever you're dealing with, there's going to be a sense of forgiveness, but also not worrying about what you say to that person. It's not what we say, it's how we say it, right? I've also had that thing with with my son. It's not what he says, it's how he says it to me sometimes. It sounds so disrespectful. And it really just, I'm just, I want to slap the shit out of them. <laughs> like, I feel like that's how you feel with this person, Virgo. I'm putting this on the revelation card over here. So, uh, realizing what it means in giving forgiveness and letting the flow go and surrendering and going with the flow. Okay, so these little cards got four little things on here. And this says trouble will arise, but will turn out not as bad as you expected. So that could be talking, going back to talking to this person or situation or scenario. You were too good for your own good. And I feel like you don't give yourself enough credit that you're not patting yourself on the back for how considerate and kind and caring you really are and nurturing as well. Somebody said nurturing just now. And loving. You really are. You really are a kind, sweet soul. A cheerful soul. Something will happen that will change the entire atmosphere for the best. So there's definitely new beginnings and something changing, right? Be very careful in what you tell others. Oh my gosh. What was I saying, guys? Keeping some things to yourself. Not being swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. So, wow. I love it when that happens. 
All right. Two more angel messages, and then I think that's it for y'all. Archangel Uriel, your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. And we've got the forgiveness card over here. So Uriel, call upon Uriel. Thank you, Uriel, for releasing the anger and the unforgiveness from my heart and mind. Like, it's just as easy as saying those. You thank them as if it has already happened. And then they, they just take it, take care of it for you. You are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. <clears throat> I'm being drawn to come back to the card that we were talking about um, helping people. Like the lawyer thing that we were talking about. Where is that? Anyways, you, you remember what I'm talking about, right? Whew. All right, Virgo. Um, also, if you have incense, you could light those and use that for smudging instead of the actual uh, sage or Palo Santo. Um, also, lighting a candle with the intention that it's going to help somebody. Maybe you're wanting to light a candle or do something to help uh, some send good positive vibes towards somebody who's breaking bad habits as well in your life. Someone in the family could be journeying quite abroad because we've got journey in the safe and happy travels here. So trust that they're going to be fine and there's nothing to worry about. Okay, Virgo. I think this is all we have for you, Virgo, for your 2022 year review. <clears throat> I hope it helps. I hope it resonated. If you would be so kind to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Help me grow, please. It's greatly appreciated. Love and light.